Uh, nice pretty day today. You can see the mountain in the background real good. That's awesome. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this video is going to kind of jump around a little. Talk about you know some software things and then I show a couple of hardware things so there's really no concept to this video it's just a random string of clips that I've put together to make this video so make sure to smash that like wear your mask and as always you guys be cool so I'm sitting here uh, getting some drivers installed and doing I'd like for the software to be up to date and everything be good so that way once I do get it fully built we'll be good to go but I do want to show you guys something that did come in the mail today check this out this is our MSI board that we're going to use let's see here I can change where's the adapter at we can change let's see here the color wait a minute here we go color there we go green like a turquoise is that that's green right there a white off hmm all kinds of damn colors blue and then you got the speed of it which is also the brightness Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So anyway, this beautiful piece of artwork is actually going to sit directly underneath all of this. So that way it will add some awesomeness. You guys definitely need to check this out and get one of these. Now it may look a little foggy or kind of blemished, but that's because I still have the protective coating plastic on it. And I'm not going to remove that until installation. And on an extra side note, I ordered some black and blue tubing. And they kind of got the order, well, kind of got it screwed up a little bit. I asked for two feet of black and two feet of red and what I actually got was like two feet of red or actually no I got like five feet of black and like five feet of red but you know whatever <laughs> I guess they all can't be perfect and then the really cool thing is this check this out god this room is messy I need to clean it I've worked too much. Check this out. This is really cool. This is really cool. This is a compression test for your computer system. And I will be doing a video. Look at this thing. Check that out. So one end screws into your computer and the other end screws into like a hand pump. And basically what you do is you pressurize the system, pull the valve, let it sit, see where your pressure goes. It needs to be at 0 0.5 bar to 0 0.75. That's the good stuff right in that area. Anything over is bad, anything under is no good. But this is a compression test kit for computers and I'm super excited to show you guys how it all goes together and how it works. It's really cool. I like it. I was just examining my wall here and I got these RAM distribution like heat plate things that clip over them. Those are old school. I have a power supply to a, a laptop I don't own anymore and then up here is these little tiny fittings that I forgot all about that's for like a, an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi or something like that uh, that's UV coloring to color the water which I never use this up here 
this is a 3.5 hard drive bay fan that actually slides down into the hard drive uh, of your well of your system like it sits in the front like where your DVD player would be and it brings in cool air and blows it in on that stuff and that's just a fan header switch thing that's not really important a hub what else is down in here looks like I got an adapter to something this stuff right here this gets inside of your keyboard it's like a green goo and it cleans them it does an alright job and stuff uh, more LED stuff but yeah I just thought I would kinda look at that real quick alright back to what we were doing here is my PETG tubing that I ordered and I ended up with 12 tubes because there's six in each tube but as you can see right here see it says half inch OD yeah that's inch OD yeah that's the outer diameter half inch outer diameter um, we actually need like a half inch inner diameter it's a very simple actually what we need but um, I just wanted to show you $50 in wasted tubing. Maybe I can use this for another project. The only problem is, is that the diameter of the tubes are way too small for the fittings that I own. So if I was to use this tubing, I would have to buy all new compression fittings to fit it. And I'm not too sure I want to go through that. Check this out. This is a little uh, cathode light for your reservoir. I thought this was kind of nice and cool, so I would just kind of show it to y'all real quick. Yes, we are inside of the garage right now with all of my tools and all the other good stuff that y'all know y'all like to look at. Y'all remember that project? That project is still going good. I like it. It still works. Looks good. You can see that the garage is... It's full of shit, it's organized, but it's kind of messy at the same time. Like, does that make sense to y'all? Yeah. So, and y'all remember that video too, right? When I did about the air compression tank. But yeah, that was the deal with that stuff, man. Oh, I almost forgot to show y'all this too. Look. 14 pack, or I'm sorry, 14 pack. 2 pack of 140 millimeter ring thermal take fans bought another pack of these gotta have those on a side note I was going to do the driver install but then I got to thinking you know what this thing comes with a disc and I have never since I can remember I don't think I've ever used the driver install disc like ever so I thought eh, let's try it that way so I went ahead and dug out a drive, got it hooked up, and I'm going to go from here and do that. I'm not going to bore you guys with that kind of stuff. Um, if you guys want to see, you know, how to install drivers and how to navigate BIOSes and how to turn XMP off, overclock memory, do that kind of stuff, just let me know. And maybe I'll make a video of it. But that's I think I'm going to do it that way. That would be kind of cool. To do it something different. I mean, I am doing something different already. I've never built such a complex computer like this before, so doing CDs should be interesting. Uh oh, something's wrong with my printer here. Well, let's see here. What's going on with it? see nothing wrong nothing's jammed so let's put the drum back if we can come on it just slides in there no maybe not yeah like that yeah perfect okay and this is the drum that holds it just kind of fits in there. 
push that back up. Let's see here. Well, hang on, I ain't put the drawer back in it. Let's see here. Okay. Will it print? Come on, print. 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 Please print. Maybe print. At least think about printing. You know, you're a printer. The other printers are watching. And you're, you're making them look bad right now. So, I really need you to print. <sighs> Has like that look to it. A lot different than just a standard. See, that's the standard size. That's the standard plug that we'd be using. And then this will definitely add more. So I have an excellent tip for you. I cannot connect to the internet to save my life. Um, as you can see, if I go to update the driver and try to update the drivers, it won't let me do it because I don't have the internet connected. See, it, it's kind of a catch-22. Well, I do have the internet connected. I have um, an Ethernet cable going, and I have the blue, uh, the Wi-Fi antenna attached to that comes with the motherboard. So, what do you do if you can't get attached to the Wi-Fi? What you do is, is you use a Wi-Fi dongle. See, a Wi-Fi dongle has its own software built in, so you can connect through the dongle and then put the internet in the computer, which is actually what I'm going to do now. I'm going to plug her in if I can find a USB port that's not being taken up. Is that a USB port? No. How about right here? Is that one? No. Let's see here. I swear there's like 10 different ways you can plug in a damn... It's like 10 different ways you can plug in a USB device. Is that in? It doesn't feel like it's in. Alright, now something should pop up. And that actually looks like it right there. Rear tech. Alrighty. I don't want to remove it. Did I just remove it accidentally? Uh, oh my god. Okay, so unplug it. Alright. So once you get it plugged in. Alright, once you get it plugged in. That right there should pop up. This, uh, this thing. And then, see it pops up right there, but you don't want to eject it, so you just want to open it. And that looks like it right there. And we're going to go on the hardware. Yes. Details. Driver details. Uh, window system. I only got it for 32s. Really? But anyway, you just update it and get it in there. And then once you get this going in there, you'll be able to have internet. And then you can, well, yes. And now it is. Good deal. So good. I, um, yeah, we're online now. All right, excellent. Let's get these drivers downloaded, and then we should move on to the next step. And that should be about it. Once I get these drivers installed, I'll be good to go. So I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to leave a like on the page or on the video. Y'all know the deal. Uh, I'm just going to navigate this stuff for a while.